Hello students, today's lecture is on the different types of inks that we use for printing. The inks used in printing consists of a colouring agent which may be a plant dye, a mineral or an earth in a medium of oil, water or varnish. Printing inks can be categorized according to the process for which they are intended. Uh, like there are letterpress inks for example uh, that includes colored inks and black inks. We can even categorize it based on uh, uh, color. And uh, you also have ornamental printing inks, you have rotary printing inks, you have special inks, uh, you have uh, half tone inks and you also have lithographic printing inks which is used in offset uh, lithography and you have photogravure inks uh, which is used in the gravure machine. So based on the job that it is intended you know, uh, for which they are used you can have different types of inks. And printing inks are also categorized according to the manner in which they dry. Uh, that is the rate of drying is considered to be one of the most important properties of an ink. And uh, lithographic and ordinary letterpress inks dries by ox oxidation and partly by penetration and evaporation. And newspaper inks dry by absorption and aniline and photogravure inks dry by evaporation. Modern inks which dry on contact with paper and have been perfected and are used principally on high speed rotary presses. And uh, recent development in inks is the monomeric ink which dries instantaneously when exposed to certain radiations like the ultraviolet radiations or uh, ga gamma radiations. And there are also heat cell inks which dry when the paper is passed through a heating chamber. And there are cold settings uh, which are solid at room temperature and which must be heated for printing and dry when the paper is conveyed following printing over a cooling cylinder. The consistency of a printing ink is also very important. Ink is said to be thin when it is easily set in motion and stiff when it, uh, when it offers comparatively strong uh, resistance to changes in form. And so, uh, so called long ink is viscous and can be drawn out into threads and while the opposite is a short ink in printing varnishes a distinction is made between weak medium and strong varnish and oils are used as vehicles and at one time uh, linseed oil was used most often because of its good drying properties uh, also fluorescent inks are available uh, in bright and vibrant colors uh, like uh, reds, yellows or blues and greens and uh, we also have high gloss inks. Uh, these inks are made possible by the development of a vehicle that permits only a minimal penetration of the paper surface and ensures a maximum gloss. Other types of special inks that we have uh, is uh, metallic inks and uh, this produces colored effects like gold or silver or uh, copper or bronze. The next category is uh, offset ink, an ink which is used for offset lithography and this ink is very finely ground which is free from water soluble particles generally and uh, uh, there is also laser ink this ink will melt in a laser printer because of the excessive heat produced by the laser printer now we move on to the different methods of drying inks generally ink dries by three methods sedation absorption and evaporation Oxidation is the process in which the oxygen from the air is absorbed by the wet film of ink on the paper and by chemical reaction the vehicle becomes solid and dry. And, and absorption is the pro process in which the, pa uh, the ink penetrates into the paper and is sufficiently absorbed by the paper so that the ink doesn't get smudged. And the next method of drying ink is uh, evaporation. Uh, in this process, the varnish dissolved in the ink will get evaporated rapidly. There are also special inks called as magnetic inks and these inks are made with special pigments which can be magnetized after printing. So the printed characters can be recognized by uh, electronic reading equipment after printing. And uh, this is generally used for jobs such as uh, uh, bank checks and business forms. And uh, there is also a type of ink called moisture set ink and these inks are created in such a way that the printing surface is subjected to water 
usually in the form of steam or a fine spray and the fi uh, binder is thrown out of the solution binding the pigment to the paper and uh, moisture settings are uh, relatively odor free and it is generally used in food packaging industries uh, for uh, uh, packaging uh, bread wrappers or uh, milk con milk containers or paper cups etc new sink is another type which is uh, Uh, an ink which has a fluid consistency and this is generally uh, dried by absorption quick settings are inks that generally dries off very quickly and uh, quick settings which has uh, high gloss are mostly effective when printed on enamel or uh, cast coated stocks uh, which are you which may be used for both letter press and offset So these are some of the inks that we use for printing uh, so with this i conclude the lecture thank you